Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of circles. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us to find out number of common tangents to the circles whose equation is given to us as x square plus y square minus 18x minus 15y plus 131 equals 0. And the second equation given to us is x square plus y square minus 6x minus 6y minus 7 equals 0. So these are the two equations given to us. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here, they are for 2, 3, and the last answer choice given to us here is 1. So we need to figure out how many common tangents are present to these two circles that are given to us. So let's see this question. So if I try to solve this question first, I will write my first equation of circle given that is x square plus y square minus 18x minus 15y plus 131 equals 0. Now if I have this type of equation, I know I compare it with x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. So from here, I get 2g as minus 18. And I know the center of the circle, which is h comma k, it is given to us as minus g comma minus f. So from here, I get g as minus 9. And from here, I get f as minus 15 over 2. Once you get g and f here, you can just put that to get your center of circle, which is h comma k, which is given by minus g comma minus f. So minus g means minus of minus 9 and minus f means minus of minus 15 over 2. So from here, you get the center of first circle and that is 9 comma 15 over 2. Now, once I have this, I just find the radius of the circle and that is given to me as root of h square plus k square minus c. So from here, I get h is 9 square, k is 50 over 2, the whole square, minus c, which is 131. So you get 81 plus 225 over 4, minus 131. So you get 225 over 4, 81 minus 131, which is 50. So from here, you get 225 minus 4, if I want here in the denominator, I'll multiply both sides with 4. So you get 225 minus 200, which is 25 over 4. And square root of that gives me the radius of the circle. That is 5 over 2. So you have the center of the first circle. You also have the radius of the first circle. Now let's talk about the second circle that we have here. So second circle's equation, it's given to us as x square plus y square minus 6x minus 6y minus 7 is equal to 0. So from here, if I again compare it, I get 2g is minus 6 and 2f is also minus 6. So from here, you get g is minus 3 and you get f as minus 3 as well. Once you have g and f here, you can again find the center of the circle h comma k, which is minus g comma minus f. And that is given to us as 3 comma 3. Now, once I have this again, that the center of the circle is 3 comma 3, radius is root of h square plus k square minus c. And from there, I get 3 square plus 3 square minus c, where c is, I can see it's minus 7. So from here, you get 9 plus 9, 18, and 18 plus 7, 25, and square root of 25 is 5. So you get the radius of the second circle as 5 and center coordinates are 3 comma 3. Now once I have both of the ideas, for circle 1, I have the center at 9 comma 15 over 2 and the radius at 5 over 2. For the second circle, you have the center at 3 comma 3 and the radius is 5. Now once I have this, if I just find the distance between the centers of the circles, I can use the distance formula to find the distance between them. And that gives me 9 minus 3 the whole square 
15 over 2 minus 3 the whole square. That gives you 6 square. This gives me 15 minus 6, that is 9 over 2 square. So this gives you 36, 81 over 4, 144 plus 81, that is 225 over 4. And that gives you 15 over 2. So you get the distance between the two center coordinates as 15 over 2. Now let's analyze the relative positions of the circles using the distance between the centers and the sum and the difference of the radii. So let's see all the conditions that we have here first of all. And then we'll compare it with our question and understand. So if the distance between the centers of the two circles which we have found out already it is greater than the sum of the radii. So in that case, what happens is you have a separate set of circles. And when you have two separate circles, you can have four common tangents passing through them. So you can have one, two, three, which will touch both the circles like this and four, which will also touch the circles like this. So you will have in total four common tangents which will pass through these two separate circles. If the distance between the center of circles is equal to R1 plus R2, in that case, your circles are touching externally. So you would have a circle like this touching externally. And in this case, what happens is you have one, two, and three. So you have three common tangents, touching circles, but touching externally. And in that case, you get three common tangents. If the distance between the centers of two circles is between mod of R1 minus R2, mod means absolute value of the difference, so positive difference we are talking about. And if the distance is greater than zero as well, here what happens is, one circle is inside other circle. And when one circle is inside other circle, you have no common tangents in that case. So one circle is inside other circle and you cannot draw a tangent which will pass through both the circles. So no common tangents. If the distance between the centers of two circles is equal to the absolute difference value which is you finding for the radiuses in this case your circles are again touching internally and when they touch internally what happens they will have one common tangent here. so you have one common tangent in that case and if the distance is less than absolute value of the radii again the same idea one circle is inside the other and you have no common tangents so these are your cases that you have. Now let's figure out, we already know that the distance between the two centers of the circles, I know it was 15 over two. The first radius was five over two and the second radius was five. So if I first find the sum to compare it with the distance, I get five over two plus five, which is five plus 10 over two. And that gives you 15 over two. Now, once you get this, distance is 15 over 2. R1 plus R2 is also 15 over 2. So from there, I get distance between the centers of two circles is equal to sum of their radii. And when it is equal to sum of the radii, the circles touch each other externally. And when they touch each other externally, we have three common tangents for those two circles. So if you see the answer choice that we have here, it is option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which asks us to find the number of common tangents to the circles given to us. So from the first equation of the circle, we got the center of the circle as well as the red eye. From the second equation of circle as well, we got the radius of the circle as well as the center of the circle. And once we got that, we just found the distance between the centers of two circles and then we had our four conditions. And once we found out the sum of the radiuses, we got that as equal to the distance. 
and when it is equal to the sum of the radii your circles touch each other externally and in that case you have three common tangents so that is your answer and it matches with option c so c becomes the correct answer for the question given to us i hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on 11th 12th as well as jwe mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also if you are enjoying this videos that we are doing every day please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on jwe so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis see you again tomorrow with one other video thank you